Ciao ragazzi! Welcome to the new video of my student Italy. It's been a long time, I missed all of you, but as you may know, especially from my Instagram, I have been busy with having an Erasmus student exchange in Germany and it's been quite intense. There are lots of things to unpack about having a student exchange while you study medicine and obviously there will be some content about it. So I'm sure that many of you heard about it, read about it, but I'm here to bring you some more clarity and my own comments on the situation. On previous Monday, Monday 7th of August, the Italian Ministry of University and Research, they finally published the guideline, the bundle about IMAT exam and the dentistry exam in Italy. And now we know lots of things. And more importantly, we know that there are some structural changes in our exam and we know some dates, important dates to enroll the exam and the after dates, the days after the exam that you have to follow. In this video, we are going to talk about some important dates, some important changes in the exam and my interpretation of these changes. There will be some more videos coming for IMET 2023 about how you can study, how, to, how you can structure a final revision in last two months and some possible important information to consider as a non-European applicant or European applicant. We are going to talk about all of these things, so make sure to subscribe and turn on that notifications button down there so that you can never miss a video of mine while you're getting prepared. So obviously the first and the biggest change is Cambridge is no longer the author of our IMET exam. Instead, the Italian Minister of University and Research, MUR, is going to prepare our exam. And now they announced it, we know who is going to prepare it, who is going to be responsible with lots of things for the format, structure and the delivery of the exam. And the second important news is the exam locations are published. Like we know where this IMAP exam is going to be held. And thankfully, they are going to conduct this exam in many exam centers around the world, not only in Italy. This was the most important and frequent question that you guys were asking me is like, hey, Ajay, what am I going to do if they don't have IMAP exam outside Italy? Or there were some rumors that like, oh, they're going to have the exam only in Italy. But I knew that this is not true. And I've been telling you that they are trying their best to conduct this exam in many places around the world. So I'm thankful for this effort of Italian ministry. If you don't know these exam locations, there will be a file in the caption. You can check that file. Basically, you will find a summary of what we are talking about today and the official uh, publishments of the Ministry of University and Research that you can check for many rules and regulations and the exam locations. Uh, obviously, we're not going to mention all countries and cities in this video, but you can check it down below. Next important point is the format of our exam. Thankfully, and as I expected all this time, there is no format change in our exam. It is still a written exam on paper is still test, which means that you are going to do your exam with a pen on paper and you will have options, uh, multiple choice questions in your exam. Furthermore, the overall format is written, it didn't change, but also the number of total questions and the rules about the scores, they haven't been changed. Meaning that for IMET 2023, again, you will have 60 questions, 100 minutes, 90 points maximum, meaning that you will have one and a half points for each correct question. And of course, there is this penalty for wrong answers. So you will have minus 0 0.4 points uh, for every false answer that you give. Obviously, this means that there is no point of uh, randomly giving answers to the question that you don't know the final answer. As always, I recommend to not to give an answer unless you're stuck in between two options. Until now, we have talked about what haven't been changed in our exam. And now we're going to talk about the changes because slightly the number of questions in each section, they have been changed. And in fact, I'm checking my notes to not to make any mistake in this video. So 
we know that there will be four questions of reading skills and knowledge acquired in studies, five questions of logical reasoning and problems, 23 biology questions, 15 chemistry questions, and 13 math and physics questions. Now, regarding all these changes and things that have been kept same, I like to refer to my webinar that we conducted in last December. Uh, it's been more than eight months now, I guess. And a follower of mine sent me a message on Instagram thanking me as like, hey, that webinar was quite helpful. And look, uh, your predictions are on this page. And here is a publishment from the ministry. So it turns out that you were completely right. Your predictions were correct and uh, they thanked me. So I'm thankful for their feedback. I'm thankful for all kind of feedback in this community, but I'm happy that uh, we predicted correctly because I told that the science part will be more important in this exam. And uh, second important thing is I said that I will expect surprises for general knowledge because when I check other university exams in Italy, I noticed a pattern of giving a less place to general knowledge section and it turns out that we will have not directly general knowledge questions still there will be some questions related to using your general knowledge and uh, your knowledge in different files but now they are going to be in the format of questioning your reading comprehension skills just like some other university entrance exams in Italy so in this exam once again uh, all the effort to improve your logic will not be wasted. In fact, now science part has more questions and everybody is studying somehow for the science part. And I believe that the people who study for logic as well, who score well in logic again, they will uh, get better scores or they, they will have better rankings whether in European or non-European seat. The fact that we have now more biology questions, meaning that you will have to ace biology, you have to, uh, you have to study well every topic in biology. And we also see some increase in math and physics part. Last year in 2022, they increased the questions of math and physics to 10. And now it's even more, it's 13. So every year we see this increase in math and physics section, meaning that you can no longer skip math and physics part if you want to score well. Again, I'm taking my notes to not to make any mistake. So the exam enrollment should be done from 18 September to September 29 on universally.it, the regular website that we use for our pre-applications and uh, for IMET exam enrollments, we have been using university website for many, many years now, and it hasn't been changed. You still have to enroll yourself for the exam from there. And obviously I recommend checking exam places before you do this. And the exam will be conducted on 17 October, but we have already knew about it. So it should be not a surprise. Like I said, in the caption below, I will share the official website of this uh, guidelines. I will share the exam locations. And also I will share a file that you can see the IMET curriculum. For regarding the curriculum, when I check the topics in each section, I can say that there is no major change. Basically, they just gave some further details of each topic and you should check the curriculum to be able to have a better study structure. What's my interpretation about this exam as a six year medical student and as a IMAT tutor? Because now it's my job to be able to provide you some predictions, some strategy uh, to my own students and also I try to provide it on my social media. So. I would say that for both Europeans and non-Europeans now, like I said before, the science part is very important. But if you want to have better rankings in your own category, you should not skip logic questions because I still believe that the ones who can do logic and the ones who can do math and physics will going to score better and rank better in this competition this year. Some of you also asked about this, hey Ajam, how do you predict the cutoff scores of each university? Do you think that they will increase too much? Now there's no general knowledge. Uh, what do you predict? To some extent, predictions can be useful to study and define a strategy 
But like I usually say, please don't waste your time by checking predictions, by checking gossips and rumors, because when I check uh, social media for IMED, I see lots of lots of wrong information or fraud or lots of mature explanations. Sometimes they can lead to wrong places. Please don't waste your time by checking these anymore, please. Use your time to study, complete your revisions. If we come back to the cutoff scores, I think it totally depends on how hard this exam will be. Because when we check the past paper questions, especially after 2014 and in paper of 2020, uh, there were some papers that the science part was harder. And when we see this type of exams, we actually could not observe a significant increase in cutoff scores because the exam was hard and students couldn't score too high, so the cutoff scores did not increase. Again, the cutoff scores is defined by students' performances in the exam, so it totally depends on how well students can perform in IMAT 2023. When the exam is hard, obviously students cannot score too high and the cutoff scores cannot increase. And now like the amount of applications for IMAT is going to be higher than ever um, because people know about this exam, people are talking about this exam, uh, even I have some impact about increasing this number. And obviously the number of applicants will increase, but when we check the given statistics, um, this is not the major factor to define the cutoff scores. Obviously, more applicants means more competitiveness. However, it also uh, primarily depends on how well these applicants can perform. So I would say that don't be scared just because there are more applicants for IMAT this year. And I expect a hard paper, relatively hard paper, because there are some easy years like 2016, 2018. They were easy. Uh, years for IMAP paper. However, for example, 2020 uh, was relatively a hard year for people to score and I expect a hard paper so I still expect an increase in cutoff scores because of the number of applicants. However, I do not expect a crazy amount of increase in cutoff scores. They keep the paper easy for the science part and now we have more science questions. People will get higher scores and there will be higher cutoff scores, the range in the rankings for each university, they are going to decrease, meaning that people have close scores and the competition will be higher, obviously, in that sense. Uh, people are going to either enter the university or not enter the university with just differences like 0 0.5, 0 0.7, whatever. And this will be the case if the paper is easy. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, there will be some more videos about how to prepare this exam. So make sure that you follow me on Instagram and on YouTube. Obviously, the next biggest question should be how you should make revisions for IMAT exams. And for this question, I have an answer. If you don't want to lose time by planning, planning, getting worried about how, you, how well you do your planning, getting overwhelmed with your weekly planners and schedules. I already prepared a 10 weeks of revision plan. I prepared it for my own students in my IMAT courses. However, I decided to share it with you guys. You can go and check this revision plan and you can purchase it. That revision plan has been prepared with my four years of experience in conducting IMAT courses. I observe lots of students, how do they make revisions, what are the points of struggles, what are the biggest problems when it comes to finishing all subjects in IMAT and increasing the exam performance, having a strategy when you have small amount of time to get prepared. So I experienced lots of things with my students and myself as a medical student. So this plan is coming from uh, pure experience and strategy combined together. So in this plan, I included which past papers or which papers you should be solving in last 10 weeks. And furthermore, I included my favorite online free resources. I included some useful tips about how to not get overwhelmed when you have little amount of time to get prepared. And in total, I think it's around 18 or 20 pages of guide plus revision plan. All right, guys, this is it for today. 
Let me know about your questions in the comments below. New videos are on the way. I keep filming and filming in these days. So let me know what you wonder and if it's a question that is super important, I can make a video about it. I'm super excited for IMA 2023 because of these changes. I'm super excited because of your questions, because of your motivation. Next week, see you in another video. Ciao!